Now, I don't know about you, but I love rainy days, especially when it's just a little bit chilly out so you don't get too sweaty when you're walking around taking photos. There's something about the rain that just changes the way the world looks, and there's plenty of photo opportunities in that type of weather. The lighting is softer from the overcast sky, yet there's still harsh light in a lot of those reflections and puddles. It feels like there's more movement around you, yet there's also this stillness at the same time. And best of all, when it's raining, most people are just in their own little world, trying to get from point A to point B or shielding themselves from the rain. So as a street photographer, that's a perfect time to go out and take pictures. In this video, we go on a pretty chill, rainy POV photo walk, and I'll be voicing over the footage with some of my thought process as I'm taking the shot as well. With that being said, I hope you enjoy. photo walk I am at Gantry Plaza State Park and I was drawn to the skyline in the background with the green field in the foreground. Today I'm shooting with the Sony a7C along with the Rokinon 45mm f1.8. This is only the second time that I'm shooting with this camera so I'm still getting used to the controls but because it's a chill rainy day I think it's a perfect time to just get in the zone and take some photos. Then I crossed the lawn and walked over to the water. Because the skies were pretty gloomy, a shot of the skyline didn't look so great. Instead, I crouched down to try and make a more creative shot with these yellow flowers in the foreground. But it ended up being a pretty boring shot anyway. Walking along the water, I came upon the pier where the ferry was waiting. There was someone standing at the top, so I quickly took this shot. I wish I had a longer lens to isolate the subject more, but some cropping and post made it a tighter frame. Then I just hung out and waited for someone to walk to the back of the ferry. Finally, someone in a red jacket came through, and this is one of my favorite shots so far. This structure with the overhang was also really interesting. So as I was waiting around, I was looking at different compositions to see what works best. Ideally, I would have liked to have someone standing in the middle of the frame, but the architecture alone was still pretty interesting. Finally, someone came through and I asked them if I could take a photo of them. Hey man, I love your fit. Can I take a portrait of you? Yeah, I can send it to you after too. Can you take uh, like two steps this way? Perfect. Wow. So this one I tried getting like the reflection on the table. You're amazing. And then, um, these are some like full body ones. You have Instagram? Yes. Moving along further into the park, I took a couple of quick snapshots of a family playing by the water. I love how compact this camera is, and it just makes taking these slice of life moments that much easier. As I was exploring the park further, I noticed this person in an orange jacket standing alone by the water. I like how the subject is isolated and the jacket gives these images a nice pop of color. Once again, I tried taking one of those shots with the blurred flowers in the foreground. This time I pulled out the screen so I can get a better view of my shot. 
I'm still getting used to the screen, but I think I like it better than the standard screen that doesn't flip out. At this next pier, I noticed someone fishing all the way at the end. It didn't seem like they caught any fish, but he was just enjoying the experience. All of these photos were cool, but nothing really special. But I just like the mood that they evoke, and I'm happy that I was able to capture them. At this point, I left the park and started wandering around the city. This outdoor dining area caught my eye because the soft light mixed with the wood and the greenery just seemed to go together with the moody, rainy day. Here you can't really see what's going on but I was taking a POV Instagram story video as I was taking pictures of these people walking towards me. So don't forget to follow my Instagram at az.visuals to see updates as these photo walks are happening. As I'm walking around this corner I wasn't even really paying attention but I noticed someone sitting in the outdoor dining booth. The screen of the A7C was covered with water so I couldn't see anything. I took this shot blind and trusted the autofocus to nail focus and I'm happy that it worked out. At this last location, I stumbled upon these shipping containers with the skyline way in the background. It was a pretty interesting location and the desolate and abandoned vibe really fit the mood of the day. But shortly after wandering around, I got kicked out by security. My property? Sorry about that. I didn't see any signs. Oh, I came, I came from that way. I didn't see it. I'm heading out. But on the way out, I just had to take one more photo of this guy walking around the top of the shipping container. All right, so which one was your favorite? I really liked the ones where there was just a single person in the frame, like the guy in the orange jacket or the person fishing. And I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Do you guys like shooting in the rain? I know a lot of people don't really like shooting in inclement weather, but honestly, there are so many photo ops that you just normally don't get in a regular sunny day. Well, that's it for now. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna support my channel, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.